Okay, so this is for a viewer. I hope you like it. Hell is the name of the viewer, and it's for you. If you do like it, I hope you do like it. I'm going to take this off. Um, if you haven't subscribed, do subscribe. And uh, thanks a lot for watching. I really appreciate it. Hi, I'm Mark, and this is my journey through tarot. Come on. So this one's about a political upstart, and um, she started out Democrat, switched over to Republican, and her name is Candace Owen, so I'll tell you what I know about her. Okay, Candace Owen. Now remember, um, I get this stuff from Wiki, and however accurate it is, it's just how accurate it is. But here we go. So, and it's a very short uh, piece here about her. So in 1989, Candace Amber Owens is born. Now, now she's a conservative author, she's a talk show host, a political commentator, and an activist. And initially, she was critical of Donald Trump and the Republicans and was born on April 29th, so she's a Taurus. And uh, she and three siblings were raised in Connecticut by her grandparents from the age when she was 11. And her parents had divorced and uh, she's a high school graduate. Now in 2007, at the age of 17, she received uh, three racist uh, voicemail death threats while she was in high school, uh, totaling two minutes long, and uh, from white male classmates. Uh, 2008, the family sued the Board of Education, winning a $37,500 in settlement. And then uh, she started uh, for a degree in journalism, but dropped out after her junior year, citing student loan issues. Then she worked as an intern for Vogue magazine in New York. Pretty good. Uh, 2012, she was an admin for a Manhattan private equity firm, and soon moving up to be vice president of administration. Uh, 2015, she was CEO of a marketing agency, consulting and production and planning. Now remember, no college. Uh, her blog posted anti-conservative and anti-Trump uh, content and mockery of his penis size. And uh, she criticized the, and these are her words, batshit crazy Republican Tea Party saying the good news is they will all eventually die and off in their sleep. They'll all eventually die off in their sleep. That's Candace Owens. Now, uh, in 2016, she launched a website to expose bullies on the internet, and users could take screenshots of offensive posts listed by the usernames, and uh, she crowdfunded for the website. But uh, conservatives and progressives condemned it, and uh, so folks started posting her private details online. And uh, she eventually got support uh, from right-wing commentators and Trump supporters. So, uh, in 2017, she became a conservative, and uh, she's saying that liberals were racists and trolls. Her website crowdfunding was suspended, and it never the website never got created. Uh, she did produce pro-Trump commentary and criticism of liberal rhetoric regarding racism, uh, which she herself had actually published two years earlier. So she's now denouncing something that she had favored earlier. Uh, she began posting politically themed videos, did launch a website and a YouTube channel for black conservatism, and uh, she was hired by a MAGA supporter as director of urban, does that mean black, of urban engagement. Kanye West said he loved the way she thinks. Trump said thinks. Trump said she was having a big impact on politics and very smart thinkers. Trump would know. And uh, she registered as a Republican. She was a guest host on Fox News. Uh, she said women who do not marry or have children have a biochemical imbalance and named Sarah Silverman, whom she accused of supporting terrorists and, and crime gangs, and then uh, Chelsea Handler and Kathy Griffin as evidentiary support for her uh, statement. In 2012, she quit as a communications director and became engaged to an Englishman, former chair former chairman of a British offshoot of a USA organization set up to promote right-wing politics in schools, colleges, and universities only three weeks after they met. And then they married, where? At Trump Winery. Now, in 2020, she announced her uh, intention to run for office in the Senate or as a governor, but would only run against an incumbent Democrat, of course, not mentioning what election cycle. In 2021, she joined the Daily Wire and hosts Candace, a political broadcast or a political podcast, and she is considering a presidential run, of course, in 2024. 
just a little bit more. She says Trump neither engaged in rhetoric harmful to African Americans or policies to harm them. She has described Black Lives Matter protesters as a bunch of whiny toddlers, um, <laughs> pretending to be a uh, and they're pretending to be oppressed for attention and referred to police killings of black people as trivial. That's her that said that, not me, her. Um, abortion is a tool for the extermination of black babies, she says. She proudly self-identifies as an Uncle Tom. And uh, she said the Republican Party's increasing white political support is a myth, even though historians, historians say it's well documented all the way back to civil rights, to the civil rights era. And uh, she supports same-sex marriage, is in favor of banning transgender individuals from undergoing reassignment surgery while they're in the military. Okay. But she does not oppose fully transitioned uh, individuals from being in the military. Um, she's a member of the National Rifle Women's Association, the NRA, and says it has, has <laughs> the NRA was founded as a civil rights organization to train African Americans to arm themselves. Actually, it was founded by a union, not... Uh, Confederates, but Union Civil War vets, Union Civil War vets to improve soldiers' marksmanship. So it had uh, honorable beginnings, I suppose. But uh, now we're going to see what the cards say about Candace Owens. Okay, so the Witch's Tarot. You know, this is uh, by Ellen Duncan, and I'm not sure who actually publishes these cards. Um, illustrated by Mark Evans. I haven't done any research into it. And, um, but, I mean, they're just an inexpensive little pack of cards that I bought on a whim. And I don't use them very much, although I should. I mean, there's nothing wrong with the cards. I think they're probably a knockoff of something else. Uh, the, uh, the cards themselves are very basic. They're easy to use. They shuffle nicely. I mean, there's a lot going for these cards, actually. And then the depictions on them, I don't know if you'll be able to see them that well because they're kind of small cards, and I'm not sure about the distance uh, between the camera and the table for this uh, these little cards. But, I mean, they're nice pictures. They're thoughtful. Someone has, uh, they've, has put a lot of intention into making these represent uh, the symbols that they should. So um, I don't tend to give these the credit they, they deserve by not using them enough. And um, so I hope I change that, but probably I won't. Uh, I spread the cards out like this so that you can see them. And I used to always want to see more of the cards that readers were using uh, when I was just viewing videos. And also, it's a good way to get people's energy into the cards. If you're doing a reading, you can let them spread it out if they don't want to shuffle. So there you go, Witch's Tarot. So here we go with the Witch's Tarot. And Ellen Duncan. I mean, what a character. So, I mean, for me, I'm just going to tell you right now, uh, before the cards uh, give us any uh, uh, clues here, I just feel like she's someone who started out... Uh, feeling like a Democrat uh, because she thought uh, she could get some recognition that way. And then once she realized that the real uh, uh, way she could bump start her uh, social presence, presence uh, was to go uh, controversial Republican, she jumped in with uh, both feet. So that's my take. But let's see what the cards have to say about her. Um, what an unusual person. Candace Owen. Candace Owen. Candace Owen. And um, it just looks like she's another one of these young uh, folks that have been uh, enthralled with this instant fame. I mean, it's just a la uh, Kardashians. That's what it seems like to me. But Candace Owen, oh, what questions can we ask about Candace Owen? Candace Owen, um, is she real? I want to know, is she authentic? Is Candace Owen authentic or is she just seeking fame? I think that's, oh, that's a mess. Let's try that again. Candace Owen, is she just seeking fame or does she have actual convictions about what she's talking about? Let's take uh, six cards. One, two, three, four, five, and six. Candace Owen. My goodness. And what they don't realize, these, these folks, and i got to remind you, when these cards, when I pull them together, if they're in a different order than when I laid them out, that's the way the cards want to be read. That's just how I look at it. Um, is she just seeking fame or is she real? The signifier of this card is death. Look at that. Uh, I'm not sure how to interpret that for her, but it is a signifier. Death is the end of a cycle. It could be actual death, although it seldom is. But it's definitely something that's coming to an end and something new is going to have to start after that. But it looks like that's not a great card to be your signifier card, death. Very interesting. Uh, the challenge to that death card as to whether she's real or just seeking uh, attention uh, is the Queen of Pentacles 
Oh yeah, and look at that. This card, this queen even looks like Candace Owen. I mean, that's striking. So I think, yeah, she's seeking fame. The challenge to, uh, to this end of things is her seeking fame. So yeah, she uh, was getting nowhere, and so she found something uh, that would push her along. Um, the base of this reading then is the Ace of Swords. So the base of this, you know, swords for me are always, I mean, truth and justice and rules. And this Ace of Swords is a great big offer of, of truth and justice. So that's a, an odd um, base of the reading uh, for me, but I'm, I'm, I'm very prejudiced about this, uh, the outcome of this reading. I have to tell you right away. I feel like uh, I, I, sh I should learn how to wipe that out, but I can't. Um, the past of this reading is uh, the Knight of Swords. Okay, so this she is uh, the Knight of Swords. She's trying to make something happen. I think the Swords in this case is more indicative of moving something forward um, somehow. And then the um, sky of this reading for Candace Owen are celebrations. You know, and these are smallish uh, celebrations. These, she found a way to find some success, and uh, and that's good enough for her. And actually, she's doing a pretty good job of it. So. The uh, likely outcome, this first part of this, and we'll do a full Celtic cross on her and maybe a couple other cards, is um, the Ace of Cups, which is just an over a flooding uh, offer of uh, passions. And I think that's what she's tapped into. She's tapped into this very uh, emotional uh, group who are willing to follow uh, uh, when she says emotional things. Um, I'm sure this reading is tainted by how I feel about this. But uh, let's continue. Uh, Candace Owen, uh, are you real or are you fake? And uh, the self, Candace Owen, are you real or are you fake? The uh, self of that reading, ah, the Seven of Cups, which is illusion and delusion. Exactly. I mean, I guess I would eventually get a card that would uh, verify uh, my feelings. I don't know, but this is this is pretty um, interesting. That she starts off with uh, nowhere. Uh, and uh, well, oh, okay, the, the signifier of herself right now is illusion and delusion. Very interesting. That's in the environment of what? What is that in the environment of? That's the environment of the Nine of Cups, which is really having everything you want, everything you ever dreamed of, just a bounty of uh, abundance. And uh, that's what she's found. She's found the key to a bounty of abundance. The hopes and the fears for this situation is uh, the Eight of Pentacles honing her craft. And that's exactly what she's doing. You can see this woman in this uh, picture is just polishing up that pinnacle, really making sure she's got it just right, um, going by what's wrote. Uh, yeah, she is really, her hope is that she gets this polish to a, a, a shine that really continues to pay off. And then the final outcome of this is the Five of Cups, which is kind of, and again, this, uh, I don't know, this could be her, uh, is uh, singing a siren song. She's almost like a mermaid. And she's got some spilt uh, cups here. She's got a couple that are left and really trying to decide what she's going to do. So the final outcome of this is that it will eventually um, leak uh, from her, but she'll have something left to build something on, I believe. So that's uh, what I have for Candace Owen. I'm going to leave it just like that. So yeah, Candace Owen. Um, okay, her her the reading started out for her with the Death card. I mean, what was the signifier to begin with? The Death card. That's not good. I mean, that's going nowhere. However, the challenge to it was the Queen of Pentacles seeking uh, fame and fortune, and this and this woman even looks like Candace Owen. So yeah, so that was the signifier or the challenge to that Death card. Is she continued to seek fame until she found it? And then uh, the base of the reading is the Ace of Swords, and I think that's just movement for her. I think she found something she can grab onto and swing forward as a truth or as a uh, you know, and that's what she's done. Uh, the past of that reading is the Knight of Swords. Oh yeah, she's taking it up as a cause, as as her as her calling uh, to uh, get these these words out there. And I don't think that. I don't know. I can't say. But in the sky of that was the uh, Four of Wands, which is celebrations. I always feel like these are smaller celebrations. And then the um, likely outcome of the first part of that was was this uh, Ace of Cups just really cashing in on a big flood of emotions. So that's uh, how that looks to me. And I said, now what is the self, the real self of Candace Owen? Look what it is. It's illusion and delusion. Exactly that. And then the... Um, uh, environment that that's in is the Nine of Cups, really having everything that you want. She's found a way to really fuel the lifestyle that she uh, 
uh, wanted. I mean, she has envisioned, like we all can, she has envisioned what she wants and she's made it come to pass. And we can all do that. Sadly, let's try to do it for a good cause. Uh, the hopes of the fears is that she continues uh, to uh, hone that craft. And you know, this is a hope and a fear. I mentioned it's her hope and it should be the rest of our fear. Uh, for some for these folks and then the likely outcome of the whole thing is a five of cups which is really um suffering over what you've lost she's uh, this is a uh like a mermaid singing the siren song and uh and possibly she has a few a couple of cups left to uh, push this um agenda forward even after that so candace owen not uh my favorite person i'm afraid to say and i just learned about her because hell uh hell have no no fury is the viewer who asked me to do that reading thanks hell I'm Mark, my journey through tarot. Tomorrow's another day. Stop by, we'll do it again. Ciao for now.